The former University of West Georgia professor now accused of killing a student and facing a judge for the first time. Carrollton police charged Richard Sigmund with malice murder and the shooting death of 18 year old Anna Jones. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Tom Haynes filling in for Russ Spencer and I'm Christine Spiro. Investigators say he fired shots at a car inside a parking deck, hitting the teenage college student. Fox 5's Rob Darienzo has the latest on Sigmund's day in court. The judge ordered that Richard Sigmund remain behind bars until his next day in court. The now former business professor faces charges of malice murder and three counts of aggravated assault. Mr. Sigmund, I'm going to deny your bond at this time. 47 year old Richard Sigmund appeared in court Monday afternoon in a wheelchair, his head banged up, his leg in a brace. The accused did intentionally, willfully, and with malice of forethought, unlawfully kill and murder and cause the death. Of a human being. That human being was 18 year old freshman Anna Jones, who police say was sitting in a car in this parking deck in downtown Carrollton early Saturday morning. It's not clear if it was intentional, but investigators say Sigmund had just threatened to shoot a guy at a pizzeria a little while earlier. The first warrant charges you with malice murder. He also faces charges of aggravated assault and possession of a gun while committing a crime. Over the weekend, the university said he was out of a job. So when Richard Sigmund did fire a Glock 43 9 millimeter firearm at Anna Jones, striking her in the neck and the ankle. Jones' family watched the hearing in the lobby of the Carroll County Jail. Her mom sobbed when he appeared on screen. They didn't want to speak out publicly right now, but friends we've talked to are at a complete loss. She didn't have anybody that hated her. Cheyenne Sexton says Anna had dreams of becoming an educator. She wanted to go and be a teacher. Um, she looked up to Miss Hodges. She was um, my husband's um, third grade teacher as well. And she just, she always had this love for kids. And the judge ordered that Sigmund remain locked up until his next court appearance on September 2nd. It's not clear how he wound up in a wheelchair. In Carrollton, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.